After starring in Avengers Infinity War and Deadpool 2, actor Josh Brolin is back on the big screen. And a new documentary gives us a look at the life of America's favorite neighbor. Film critic Michael Cook here to review Sicario Day of Soldado and Won't, Won't You Be, you my, be my Neighbor? neighbor? Yes, I picked two completely different films <laughs> yeah. to talk about today. Let's talk about the first one. This is a sequel to the 2015 film. Uh, Sicario. This one again stars Josh Brolin and Benicio del Toro. There you see Benicio del Toro. Uh, the basic plot line is uh, drug cartels have apparently uh, smuggled terrorists into the United States and they blew up a, a grocery store in Kansas City. And so Josh Brolin's character uh, has been, is, who's kind of in the CIA or some shady organization <laughs> with the government. Uh, there is, look, this is a violent movie. Oh my so goodness. Let's, wow. let's be clear. Uh, they're, 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 uh, they decide that they're going to get back at the drug cartels. They're going to start a drug war, between, uh, excuse me, a war between these two cartels by kidnapping the daughter of one of the cartel leaders and blaming it on the other. Okay. It's kind of the, the basic plot line. There you see Josh Brolin talking with the uh, director of De Secretary of Defense uh, in this movie. Uh, the first Sicario I thought was absolutely fantastic. It was very, uh, look, there was no hope in it. It was grim. It was, it was tough, and it was, but it was still a fantastic film. This one was not quite as good, but still very enjoyable. Uh, it got, a, when the plot got into some of the politics of Mexican-U.S. relations and, and uh, Secretary of Defense and so on and so forth, it got a little bit murky and, and clunky. The, the last, and the third act also was a little bit clunky and didn't quite make a lot of sense without giving the, the, the very ending away. It ended on a note that you're kind of wondering, now what was that about? Uh, so if you see this film, mm -hmm. I'd be curious to see what you thought of that. But still, I, I did like the movie. Uh, Josh Brolin and Benicio Del Toro did a fantastic job. So I give it a mixed review. I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Okay. So, okay, okay film. Yeah. Uh, the next one to talk about is Won't You Be My Neighbor? It's the documentary <laughs> about Fred Rogers, the beloved um, uh, you know, daytime children's uh, performer. It, it tells the story, uh, frankly, of his life, of how this person, you know, he was an ordained Presbyterian minister that went to the seminary and all the training and how he became just a, a superstar of, of with children. A lot of us, like me, grew up with Fred Rogers and his, the way with children and the way he was able to make you children feel special and his love of, of helping out young people really comes through in this documentary. Listen, I, I'm going to guarantee you, if you see this, you are going to tear up a couple of times Aww. because it is so touching in his his sweetness and his, his, his uh, so earnest in, in, a, in a fantastic way. And it, I like how, they, how, the, how the documentary covers, covers the story of some of the characters who also were in that documentary, the people that you, uh, that you, you knew and loved, like uh, Officer Clements or, or Lady Everdeen. Uh, okay. And it also at the same time covers there, you see some of the, you know, Fred Rod the Mr. Rogers neighborhood came along at a time when America was going through some tough times in the 60s between the Vietnam War and the civil rights and, and Fred Rogers was able to explain some of these things to, to young children. So I, I just love this documentary. I highly recommend it. I have to give it a 9 out of 10 oh, because okay. it's so touching and, and it's we don't have people like Mr. Rogers anymore. No. And it's mm -hmm. like, it doesn't seem like there's even a space for somebody like him. So it was nice to see somebody who was generally a good hearted person who wanted yeah. the best for kids. So. Watching that trailer, his, his smile is so infectious. Mm -hmm. You know, you see it and you just like can't help but smile. Very yeah, much so. Let's be honest though, you really only watched it as a kid, same reason I did, to see Trolley. I watched the whole thing for everything. I love Charlie too, but all the characters. I mean, yeah, exactly, the whole thing. <laughs> all right, until next Friday. Thanks so much, Michael. Thank you. We appreciate it. We'll be right back.